there's really a before and an after the interview. Afterwards, often we hug, sometimes there are tears, there's laughter. Often in my interviews with women, things get shared that are incredibly vulnerable and that sometimes the women have never talked about before. I don't know what you call that, anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> This is really part of the process, this unveiling, shedding of shame. I remember interviewing an artist in Vancouver and asking her about the struggles that she had to overcome in order to become this established visual artist that she is. And she was telling me about something that she hadn't talked about before, even with her family. and. She shared how this was such a big release for her. She felt brave for saying these things out loud. Often the interview will take place in the woman's home. So we get to meet her partner, her pets, her entire family. And it's also a very specific set. It is a woman, myself, the cameras, and sometimes one other camera person. And so it's a very intimate, encapsulated space. The interview becomes more of a conversation. It's a bit like being at a therapist. And she said, you know, you shouldn't get your hopes up. I said, mom, my hopes are already up and they're going higher and higher and higher, right out of this world, back into the next one, maybe. Before I start any interview, I conduct in-depth research on the women that I'm going to speak with. So then I already have an idea of the potential of the story before the camera turns on. And during the narrative strategy session, I sync up with the woman to make sure that she has agency in how her story is told. And she can tell me what she wants to focus on. Some of the women that I interview, I don't think they get a chance to talk about themselves even with their friends, even with their family. So it's a moment for them. It's a moment for them as women to speak and to be heard, to be listened to. I've learned so much from all of the interviews that I've conducted with so many incredible and diverse women. I've heard lots of different stories, strong stories that have given me more confidence as a woman and reiterated my belief of the importance of sharing our stories genuinely and authentically with other women and with the world. I feel lucky because I get to share these vulnerable and precious moments with these women. My hope is to create narratives for women and for their work that truly inspire, that truly speak authentically to who these women are and what they do, to help women find their voice and share that with the world. <laughs>